What's that dance that you do when you really love your hair and you just, you, you gotta give it like? Go pain, go pain, go pain, go pain, go pain. It's Taste Pink, welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited about today's video because Altrey has done it again. Since you all were absolutely in love with my ombre blonde curly fro from almost a year back, I had to come back and show you guys a different way to slay. I'm giving you two color selections and two methods to create your own custom unit. One is very beginner friendly and the other is a little bit intermediate to advanced. This big beautiful hairline has been all the rage since it came out and with the new three piece pack you have even more options and it's shorter in length but you know I had to jazz it up so I can give you the asymmetrical flow that you will love be sure to subscribe to the channel okay join the family and turn those notifications on and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed any of the techniques or methods presented here and i will see you in the next one look one is an ultra vibrant burgundy curly fro and i used just two packs of altria's premium purple pack in the color dr425 and i love this color combination and i'm constructing the unit on a spandex dome cap to begin i measured the distance between my left and right ear and trimmed the weft so that it fit the distance and i'm just going in to glue the track in place i highly recommend this hot glue gun it has a pointed tip for more detail and accuracy now for the next track i used a two finger width rule because i don't want to overcrowd the hair at the nape i want to make sure i have enough and so i'm just going to proceed with the circular pattern that people typically use to create your curly fro now you guys might ask does this hair shed yes if you trim the wefts the hair is going to shed and i just wanted to give you guys you know an, an idea of what you can expect and there were times when i did cut the wefts into smaller pieces especially in the area of the crown or the front near the bang because i like more volume in those particular areas and plus i didn't want to run out of hair i was very scared i did not believe that two packs could do it. i'm just going to let you know i did not believe but once i knew i had enough hair i proceeded with the circular pattern and just began gluing the hair into place until there was a very small circle left like a tiny circle girl and this is where I just trim the excess hair so that I can begin creating my closure. Measure the amount of hair before doing this to make sure it fits that circle. And just gonna use your hot glue gun, put a little bit of glue here and there, and roll the weft onto itself. This is like, you know, a little closure action. It can be undetectable if done correctly. And I just let it air dry prior to, you know, putting it into place and girl the hair laid seamlessly it looked gorgeous i was very shocked and i'm extra you know i had to go in and add even more hair i wanted this to be so full it was crazy next i'm just removing that plastic bag definitely do this to protect your blockhead or your styrofoam head and i'm just spraying a lightweight leave-in conditioner by jane carter along with water my hair was dripping wet because i wanted it to be good when i started you know detangling with the shampoo comb and this scalp soother which functions great as a pick i did not trim this hair whatsoever i just molded it and honey this is how it looks gorgeous for look number two, which you all were in love with, I used the big beautiful hairline that launched last year along with two packs of the premium purple pack in the color DR2730. Here you can see the difference between the old and the new with length, color, and everything. But to begin, I'm using all smaller pieces. So I'm using the shorter hair. And I just want to let you guys know if you sew anywhere near the elastic band, even if you don't sew through the elastic band, you will modify the fit of your cap. This is something I learned while searching more on YouTube. The cap fits well, but you know, if you have a big head like me, 23 and a half inches, you want to be careful. And I want you guys to notice that I'm folding the tracks over versus cutting them for 
these pieces when I'm filling up the rest of the unit I'm gonna fold them over it works best that way but notice how I am completely avoiding placing any of the shorter tracks near the front of the cap you know that's where the longer hair is gonna go because that's how you get that asymmetrical flow so again avoid placing any hair in this area so that you can create a nice seamless asymmetrical look and I didn't position any webs beyond my right eye I actually marked it out so I didn't go beyond it and I'm just closing in the top of the cap with the shorter webs and once I felt like I closed it in enough I use about five bushels or bundles of hair for this and then once I realized girl you don't have to be pressed you can do this I started filling this hair up I was doubling wefts I wanted this to be huge I didn't know how much hair I was gonna cut so I was like let's just have excess and then worry about it in the end so I definitely recommend making it as voluminous as possible And this is where I started to install the longer pieces of the DR2730 from the previous Big Beautiful Hairline. So these are longer in length and that gives you that, you know, asymmetrical look that you're going for without, you know, doing too much. You guys, you may want to place your wefts straight. You want to place them on an angle, whichever you prefer. I'm not a professional. Girl, I just, I filled up the hair. Sometimes I doubled the wefts. Sometimes I did single wefts. It was, you know, about making sure that, you know, the top portion of the hair was comprised entirely of the longer DR2730. And again, I did that same trick, you know, using this small piece of a weft, you know, rolling it onto itself. And this acts as the closure. And I just put it into place, gluing it down, holding it firmly. This one didn't lay as flat, so I had to go in and do a little bit of work. And to get rid of the white residue from the glue, I just use a Sharpie to kind of darken it and make it undetectable. And then with my curling wand at about 350 degrees, I just use quick swift motions to flatten the hair. And it looked gorgeous. Now I am just using some mousse and a little bit of water just to moisten the hair. And I love, you know, cutting curly hair when it's wet. And I'm just trimming the hair. I want kind of an angle on the right side. You know, I don't just want the angle to be where the side is longer. I want angles all throughout this unit. And I'm taking my time to cut because once it's gone, you can't get it back. And next, once I, you know, felt comfortable, I started twisting the left side of the unit. Girl, this is a great trick. If you want your hair to lay you know, a certain way. I definitely recommend doing this. Clumping the hair together definitely works in your favor with this curly texture. And I just left it like that overnight. And when I woke up the next day, girl, molding this hair was super easy. I just had to do minor trimming and fluffing with the scalp soother. But I tell you, looks gorgeous. I'm very proud of myself for sticking with it. I'm not a pro. This was very difficult for me. It took me a long time to sew, but I'm glad I stuck with it. You guys are like such an inspiration. I hope you guys try this and get into it. Anything is possible. Just keep at it. And thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you wanted to see more of this. And I will see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and comment below which style was your favorite.